So the end of our garden year was like the end of just about every garden year where frost was coming and we had to quick gather up everything from the garden we could and get it into the house. So we ended up with a ton of green tomatoes and a lot of peppers we hauled in that have up until now been kind of just wasting away in the basement. I've been trying to stay on top of getting the tomatoes out and things like that. But I had a bunch of peppers still that I had to do something with and so I decided to do some pickled peppers and I really like a good pickled hot pepper. So today I'm going to share with you a really simple recipe to make a single pint jar of pickled jalapeno peppers in case you only have maybe a handful of peppers. I'm Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com and every single week I share videos about farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble homestead in northern Minnesota. So this is a pretty simple recipe to make it. You're gonna need about a pound of hot peppers. I'm using just jalapenos. You are going to need a good knife. I really recommend also having some gloves. If you wanna do this without gloves, you can certainly do that, but I one time helped seed hot peppers without any gloves, and man, my fingertips and under my fingernails were burning for days. So I highly recommend having some sort of a glove to do this. You're also gonna need vinegar. You'll want at least a 5% acidity vinegar. You're gonna need some water, garlic, which is optional, a little strainer if you're gonna use the garlic, a pint jar, and a lid. Now this recipe you certainly can, water bath can if you want to. I'm choosing not to. You can certainly pickle things and just stick it right in the fridge and it'll keep for a long time. But if you do wanna make something that's gonna be shelf stable, then you are also gonna need your supplies for hot water bath canning. To begin, you're gonna to want to have a 5% acidity in pickling and canning. Doesn't have to be this brand, but make sure it's 5% acidity. You're gonna add one and a half cups of that vinegar to a stock pot. And you're gonna add a half a cup of water to that. You can see in this pot, I also am doing one clove of crushed up garlic. That's totally optional. It's up to you if you wanna do that or not. Bring the whole thing to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for about five minutes. And while that is getting prepared, you wanna wash and trim your peppers. So just trim off the ends here like I am. Then if you want to, you can slice the peppers as is and leave the seeds inside. Personally, I prefer to not include the seeds. I just don't like them texturally and they also make it a lot hotter. So what I do is I slice along the pepper lengthwise here. And this is a lot easier done without gloves, but I highly recommend that you wear gloves uh, to keep your eyes and sensitive parts safe, including your fingertips afterwards. And again, a nice thin knife would have worked better here, but I'm just using this, this knife for the whole process to cut out along the ribs here and then remove the entire core along with the seeds. So that's where the really hot part of the pepper is, is that kind of rib pithy part in the middle and then the seeds as well. So I'm taking most of that out of my peppers here. Again, much easier done if you're not wearing bulky rubber gloves like this. After you get that all taken out, you can go ahead and just slice it up. I like to do kind of thicker rings. I feel like that they hold up better with the pickling brine as opposed to doing thin. I feel like they get a little more mushy. So even though we slice the pepper, we are getting nice rings here. And then you just fill up your jar. So here I am using a pint mason jar. Nothing fancy whatsoever. I've got both some more mature red jalapeno peppers here and some green ones. You can also sub in other hot peppers if you want to, it really doesn't matter. The main thing that's important is that you keep your vinegar and water ratio the same. After that, I am going to strain out my brine because I did put that in there. I don't want the little garlic bits in with the peppers. You don't have to strain it if you didn't do that. So here I'm just adding my brine over my peppers and then just gonna cap them here. And since I'm not actually gonna hot water bath can these either, I'm using an old lid and an old ring, and they're ready to go in the fridge. If you are gonna preserve them for to be shelf stable, then you want to make sure you hot water bath can them. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that that was a quick and easy recipe for you. I know I love it, it just takes about five minutes to do. You can always find more content here about farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.